The NEC Women's Volleyball Tournament is one of the high points on the athletic calendar. And for the second time in three years, it returns to the Steinberg Wellness Center here in downtown Brooklyn. One dot back on the serve, eighth best in the conference during the regular season. Petronovic adjusted, found Lundot. Frakes with a nice setup. Lord thought she might have palmed it, but got it over. Azevedo, another block. And Alfano's got her second. Set point for the first time. Matsumoto trying to end it. Oh, they got to get in quick. Thank goodness for Frakes and a block to end it for LIU Brooklyn. The Blackbirds trail by as many as seven. They overcome nine attack errors. And the Blackbirds rally to win set one, 25-23. And you're seeing the attack errors start to level out. The Blackbirds have 10. The Colonials suddenly have committed six in this second set. Blackbirds up to 203 hitting. Colonials at 071 and an ace to boot. From who else? but Philippa Hansen. Ranger earlier was named the NEC Rookie of the Year. But no surprise, you see the score. She has been quiet so far in this match. Hubbard goes back. Petronovic nearly got it to the corner. One final chance. Granger can't get there in time. And the Blackbirds soar in the second set, 25 to eight. Emma Granger has put the Colonials on her back, so it's fitting that she can serve it out here in the third. That'll do it. A misfire from Krepper, and the Colonials hang out and hang around for a fourth set, 25-18 for Robert Morris. Well, again, we're, we're nearing the end of the fourth set. Robert Morris is back against the wall. And if they want to extend this, they really got to find a way to go on a nice run here. Matsumoto for Fink. Oh, no. oh it goes on. Colonial's point. Oh, we talk about points that count for more than one point. That, that might be one of them. They don't actually count for more than one point, but uh, from a mental standpoint, whew, you got to think that one counts for two or three. I think it was kicked up by Saryanovich. It was. Everybody at the Steinberg Wellness Center shocked. Shot from Fink, deflected out, last touch by Robert Morris. The Colonials need to run off four more match points to force extra time. Fink, the player of the year. How fitting would it be if she ended it? Lord to the corner, too far. Blackbirds win it. LIU going back to the championship. The Blackbirds will play one more. They are ready downstairs. Abra Rummel flanked by both Philippa Hansen and Ken Ko. We send it downstairs in just a moment. Getting ready to get situated. And we'll send it down to Abra right now. an LIU victory in four. Uh, Coach, what was the message after set three when RMU had that really nice comeback? Well, we expected them to come back and we just said, you know, we're up two to one. Let's not treat this like a loss and put together the game plan that we had set, set aside to put into you know, play and execute it this time. Definitely. Uh, personal question, what was the message in that last time out when you guys are up 23-19 in set four? Uh, I just said it, it didn't really matter how we got here. The point was that we were here and this put forth our, our, our cooperation, our energy to, to win two more points. Definitely, you guys did. You guys did a fantastic job. Congrats. Uh, you. Anything you're looking forward to in particular tomorrow? Anything you guys are looking to do? No, we're just excited to be here. And um, you know, we have two quality opponents here, CCSU and Bryant. Wish them the best and look forward to playing a great match tomorrow. Well, good luck. Um, here we have Philippa Hansen, had a phenomenal match. Uh, not only did you have, or where are you at here? Uh, <laughs> well, you had nine digs, but most importantly, you had six, or sorry, uh, nine kills. But most importantly, you had six digs, four aces, six blocks. We would think you played six rotations. Um, any, uh, anything in particular you think helped you really succeed today? Um, I just really wanted to win. I did everything I could. Um, in defense, it's just about being there and wanting to win. Like, 
I just want to do it so much. So you get so much more aggressive in block when you hit, because if you second guess yourself, it's not going to succeed, you know. So I just really wanted to win, and that that's what I saw in serves. I went aggressive. The digs are aggressive in blocks. I pressed hard. So that's what I think it was. Definitely. Like I said, fantastic, fantastic game. Uh, yeah. Anything you're looking forward to tomorrow? Oh, I am so excited to play final at home. It was kind of a big crowd today. It's the biggest we had. Um, so I'm excited to people come here, put up a show, and hopefully get a um, back-to-back NEC championship. Definitely. Another fun statistic. I think you guys were three for three when you had your fans behind the RMU bench. Yeah. Are you guys going to have them uh, here tomorrow? Oh, yes. And I'm letting them know that they're behind the other team. Because that was a winning concept, and I'm super superstitious. So when something's working, I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to go tell them. <laughs> All right. Smart and a good volleyball player. Uh, well, yeah. thank you so much. Fantastic job, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you so much. All right. And back to Greg.